Uh, hello there, and welcome back to Mad God Machinations. I am, of course, the Mad God. Today I'm playing a bit more Stellaris. Now, last time we set up, and I am floated over to the side of the map because I moved off screen. <laughs> so last time we set up... <laughs> Fantastic start right there. Start as you mean to go on. Look in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh... Yeah, so, <laughs> we start off in the demand system, we're getting our mining operation going. Uh, we got actually a fairly decent start, uh, to be fair. Uh, I don't know why I went very high pitch. I've also forgot to turn on my volume, which will be a thing that I might like. See, every there's, there's another screen, like, to there. So if I go that way, the camera just goes, wee, <laughs> And it'll look stupid. I also tweaked my webcam, so now I will look slightly less stupid while it's, I don't want to do this as I gesticulate. I could do this, and it'll be slightly... Who knows? Who knows, ladies and gentlemen? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we finally find some science in the out in space, uh, which at the swirl system, which does have a nice-ish. It's not the greatest, actually, to be fair. Now that I look at it, it isn't a great sort of. It's not a big planet. It's a very small world. It's a soiree. Oh. It's not a swirl. Well, that destroys that whole joke I had going. I was going to name that ice cream planet and. <sighs> now I'm disappointed. Now I am disappointed. Uh, <laughs> but let's see what else we can get up to. Uh, let's think, let's think. So yes, uh, my plan is, like, long term, I'm going to conquer a bunch of, like, this space. The, I, I assume this is a... Oh, that's the thing. So forget that for a moment. I'll get back to that. Uh, orbital hydroponic farms would be useful. This would also be quite handy for genome mapping. Ah. Oh. I think I'll go for the... This is like the DNA chain, which can be quite fun. This is just handy. Oh, no, we'll go for the DNA. Uh, so that's actually... That actually unlocks something for us in Ireland. We'll go to our spaceport and build us a... Hang on. No, that wasn't. I, I got the completely wrong thing. And I didn't read what I was actually doing. Sorry, it's like we got monthly unification, not solar panels, as I thought in my head. Uh, we've, oh, the Aswara system is now being... It's not as mineral heavy. Uh, kind of Sadar is going to be the focus. There is that energy that we want to tap. And a good bit of engineering research, so we can learn a bit of science. Right now, science stations are not going to be a priority. They are, right now, too expensive for the be for the perks, really. Uh, I need to focus on other things. Um, which include all this energy. Situation log. Oh, we've met the alpha aliens. Ooh, where are they? I don't see them, so maybe someone like flew past. Oh, let's go. Situation log. Investigate the alpha aliens. Do it. It's going to cost me a couple of months of research, unfortunately. I have we already? They're already ahead. They got some bumps from the research we got. So the alpha aliens, however, kind of key. We want to learn about them, and our people will love it. It'll be great. Um, construction ship is ready to go. It has built all of the things that we needed. Let's get both of these done. Oh, research is complete. Uh, we have our oh better mining, which is fun for all the family. We could go into this, or we could go into the improved spaceport. Uh, unfortunately, the science right now in engineering is not really at the point where I want to go for the biggies just yet. So we'll go into mineral storage because there's stuff I can do with that. Mineral silo, mineral silo, cool. So let's get that up and running. Uh, we have peaked on food, so we have enough food to feed everybody, which is fun for all the family. Uh, that is something I'm going to be saying a lot of now, because I'm trying to avoid saying anything dodgy. <laughs> it's not going to go well. It's not going to go well. I can tell you right now, it's going to go terribly wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I'm going to need 60 for that. My plan is to stick one of these mineral silos. Uh, down here, I think, to bump this up to six, because that's just the best place for it. Um, mining network. I'm, I'm just like sort of planning stuff out in my head and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. We did like, get a yellow planet. It's an ocean world, so it's habitable for us. We can go there. We're from a wet climate. We we don't mind it. Uh, it's got a eh, it's decent. It's not fantastic. No big biggies really. Nothing to write home about, but nothing special on it. Yeah. So that might be our expansion, because we already control Aswari. We have that down, so no one else can settle there. Uh, but 
Yobanir. Yobanir. Yes, the Yobanirians. Um, that might be where we go. It is also a fairly mineral system rich. Survey complete. Cool. So that's another system survey completed. Uh, we're learning. We're learning all about our, our sovereign front, as it were. Our borders just expanded a little bit, so we're actually quite close to getting a uh, panel. I'm guessing that means my population just popped. Indeed it does. Um, I'm also... I don't... Oh, got upgrades. Ooh, do I spend the money on upgrades? I think I do, because this is kind of key. <laughs> getting this one, especially because it gets the bump from the, like, capital... The planetary administration. Uh, the capital building, as it were. Um, I kind of want to wait until I've got a full planet before I go expanding. Ideally. Who? The Metrak? Oh, right. They're, they're the aliens that we saw. Uh, I don't know how we saw them. They must be floating around. Hopefully. Oh, no! Oh, no! Bolshevik! Why did it have to be an actual... Si that makes sense. They're a military dictatorship. They're xenophobic. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, they're imperialists. And they're made of plants. Oh. They're potato people. Uh, alien creatures. I speak right. Grand Marshal Lekarmi. Uh, Lekarmi. The undisputed ruler of the Sibulan star regime. Bollocks. Uh, respect our borders and keep our, our civilian affairs. And perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your wretched worlds. We shall probably create you in battle. May the spirit guide you in your goal. Our sacred arms shall not waver, Sibulans. Okay. Uh, so we're only indicating that this might roughly the same time. This changes everything. This seriously buggered me up. That's their capital as well. That's really bad, because um, obviously I was planning to expand into Yobernir. The fact they are already now pushing against my borders really just messes up my day. Um, have to wait till my science ship comes back. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Let's actually go see what. Let's learn about them, shall we? Uh, they really don't like us. Egalitarian rabble, xenophobia, and board friction. So that they really don't like us, which. <laughs> I need to learn about them uh, a little bit. The rapid breeders and charismatic. Uh, so they're going to grow quickly because they're 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 plants. They just need some water in the ground. I bet they're also. Hang on, and they live in an ocean planet. Ocean preference. <laughs> so they, they planted themselves and they're just growing like crazy. Uh, Aswari was now looking like our first expansion because we're going to need to push that border back. Um, the Troidum? Yeah, the Troidum system is now kind of a goal to take that back. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's really annoyed me now. I was not expecting that so soon. Uh, let's get Aswari. That's a pretty decent plan, Jesus. Uh, kind of annoyed now. Kind of annoyed. Did not expect that. It's, it just it sucks that I'm already touching someone and they happen to be xenophobic fighters. <laughs> I got racist right next to me. Ah, corn. Corn's to blame for this. It's always corn. Even when it's not corn, it's probably corn. Construction complete. Um. Uh. It means I also have to invest early in ships because I gotta be careful. Uh, biosphere is not something unique to Ireland, but it's, uh, oh, I just need to scratch my head. Sorry. Uh, various forms of life in uh, Africa's catalog. I commend the initiative. Um. Uh, right, let's just do this. Situation log. This is gonna be one of these really annoying little things. Uh, we've gotta see habitable worlds. So I need to go and scan. It's kind of one of those things they give you to prompt you to go and explore. Uh, there's perks if you go have a look around. Toads, you know, believe us. Um, even if you don't. Right, I'm going to need a job there. I also want to upgrade that. The upgrade's kind of more important. 
Uh, yeah, the upgrades are more important. Getting that extra mineral output is important. Uh, everyone has leveled up, which is good. That will help us get through the science a bit quicker. We're about to get the solar panel network, which we won't build immediately, but it will help on our... Um, did we not do this? I thought we did. Okay, apparently not. Research complete. We just finished the solar panel network. Uh, research speed, this is the one we're going for. This will be nice, uh, but this is kind of this will set us up for a while now. Uh, just getting that extra bit of research speed, because we're not focusing on the science, but we do need science. It's that annoying thing. We can't... We want science, but we are limited in what we can do just yet. Uh, especially now that we got Sibulins right next door. They're going to cause me problems. Um, that's my. I consider like this circle, this initial circle. Good I consider mine. Complete. Just, just uh, by rights of, they declared a rivalry on me, did they? End the charade. So I'm going to be going to war. <laughs> At some point, it looks like. Uh, may as well just declare them a rival. Fair enough. Gives me a bump in my influence, which will help me do other stuff on Ireland. So I can go on to my edicts, such as here, and I can, uh, like, for this one. So it costs 135. I don't really need influence right now. So if I do this, I'm now going to build a lot faster, uh, which will help me get set up. Yay. Uh, things will be cheaper uh, in here, which is good. Um, so I'm going to get the basic science lab up and running, because I have to. Not because I want to. Uh, I could also get a mineral silo. Actually, that's a good plan. <laughs> I can also build temples because I got the spiritualist thing, which I will do because it's good for the unity. Um, unity is something that uh, it can help unlock a lot of things. Especially if you don't... Oh. There's reports of attacks on civilian ships. Uh, these criminals have put together a makeshift space fleet and they now call themselves the Fallen Ones. Although crude... Ow! Oh. This is what I did not want to hear. I need you to go over here uh, and grow there. So that means I now need to go and look at spaceships. I've got a Lynx Clax Corvette. Let's get another one of those deployed. Uh, <laughs> let's deactivate this. Rally point. Uh, rally point is here. Cool. So all, right now all my ships will go to the first fleet, which is the plan of attack. I am going to uh, recruit an Admiral. Uh, let's see what we can get. Weapons range. Ooh. Leader experience gain. Weapons range. is, And he is... Also got to watch out for ages. Too old and they'll die. And then they'll be sad. <laughs> Enemy fleet. What do we got? 160. Ah, yep. Under attack. No, you pricks. Right. Uh, do they have a general? They do. Really? Ah. Uh... I'm about to lose some stuff now, which is annoying. Uh, they are ever so slightly stronger than me, so I'm going to get another fleet out, and then I will go and chase them down. Now, they should also be uh, wormhole glass, if I believe. We have no idea what it is. Okay, apparently we can't understand the technology that they're using to shoot me with. And that's going to damage my economy because now I've got to rebuild this. Hmm, I hate this. I hate this early game malarkey. Uh, it really just annoys me right now. It's an Arctic world all of a sudden. Um, right, go, 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 go. You are now stronger. Fly. Fly, my pretties. Fly. Defend. Defend what is ours. That's a really good system. That was a perfect system. Oh, at least my, uh, my science ship is back. Cool. Uh, so I'm just going to take a moment. I'll pause this actually so I can get this set up without worrying about terrible things happening. <laughs> now I just like to do this in a big, just like a, a reverse, I'm just going reverse clock for the crack of it right now. Is that in range? No. Okay. Just take it bit by bit by bit by bit by bit. That's it. So, going to be a few systems left over, but go. Find me some things. We are now fighting. Let's go watch the space battle, shall we? Because that's fun. Mining station lost. No! And you... Right, here come my guys. Uh, we have a range advantage. Uh, he's cautious. Don't know what that does, but it's a thing. 
They blew up. Oh, not that one. Ah, you. The good thing is we actually might get scrap. I need my science ship here. <laughs> no, this is the... These ships will drop a bunch of technology that I may not know. So, that would be handy for me to have, because it helps my research. Situation log updated. So, yep, yeah, there it is. Uh, forget what you're doing, go there. Construction ship, come back here. Now, somewhere around here, then, is going to be an enemy fleet. So, what I'm going to first of all do is go send my guys back... And then I'm going to do a bit of scouting. So the job is go find out what's floating around and have a bit of a search. Construction complete. Now they won't be able to scan anything, but they will be going just ahead of my science ship kind of thing. Or, yeah, whatever order I go in when I come back to this. And that'll be that. Uh, Ireland's finished its construction queue, inactive buildings. Okay, that's got people coming to it. That's got people coming to it. Uh, we're building this stuff up. It's annoying that I have to sort of waste time on it, but it'll help in the long run, as it were. Uh, energy we're doing quite well, which is nice. It means I'm not really worried about building ships or uh, which I'm going to need to do. Space port. Build one of one of those, please. Thank you. To replace the one that blew up. So hopefully with our science ship, we'll pick up a few... Ooh! A lot of nice stuff in there. Uh, afterburners, wormhole. They were using a mod stuff. So we got deflectors, bit of research, nanocomposite materials and afterburners, plus just some raw science. Now back to redeploying the science ship. I should probably go in the same way as my military ship is now going, so that's also a green planet. So I want to know what is going on over there. I've now decided to break my system that I was previously using for no apparent reason other than the fact that I am Mad God. Yay. <laughs> I need to also remember to eventually look at the camera because that's just weird. I'm sitting there talking to you, not looking at you. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Uh, that's it. Okay, fly my little science ship. Fly. Construction ship, I need all of this rebuilt, please, because that's kind of critical to my economy. Right, let's build this next thing. Cool. Um, anybody here not somewhere that's needed? <laughs> this is this is the kind of like the, the balancing act we got to do now. Uh, let's swap you two around, because that then bumps this up. Uh, science, as I said, science right now isn't crit. It's handy, not critical. Uh, minerals will get me what I need faster. So that's why we're doing that. Uh, can't believe we got the Sibulians right next to us. I just realized I need to look at the time eventually. And we've got two minutes left. Cool. Uh, oh. Oh. I've got another tradition. Awesome. So we'll go into here. Uh, Colony buildings produce extra unity. That will help us unlock this much faster. And we won't need that. So extra unity. Yay. Uh, so that'll help us get another one of these faster, which will probably go for that one. Or that one. One of the two. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, look at these planets now. We've got an ocean world here. And we've got a continental world here. If we go for this ocean world, we'll be able to like lock out this area, including this system. So that'll probably be where I head next. Although the continental world is bigger. It is just about securing our borders now. Uh, we're going to build a wall and we're going to make the civilians pay for it. Uh, <laughs> space wall. It doesn't make sense because three dimensions are a thing. Um, Construction complete. But at least deploying the military fleet is a handy thing because it just helps. However, it does cost a bit more because fleets away from base kind of they require more maintenance, I believe. Yes, or at least you can research things and make it cheaper when they're at base. Uh, new faction has gained internal... The First Strike Legion. Well, they sound fun. Uh, there's no factions in uh, Stellaris where people sort of get ideas about themselves. Aggressive diplomacy, subjugation, border expansion, local rivalry, which we got. So they're happy for the moment. They're not giving me any... If they're happy, they'll give me more influence because they will, you know... So we're foreign policers. Uh, they're, they're, they're punchy people. Uh, I've got to deal with that. Um, 
don't really want to. <laughs> it's not a thing I'm really keen on right now. Uh, what else do I need to do? It's actually the end of this part. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I've, of course, been the Mad God. This has been Mad God Machinations, playing Stellaris. I look forward to seeing you all next time, and bye-bye.